Metadata is not a new concept. Around since 1876, as the Dewey Decimal System used in libraries, the science of organizing and cataloging information is constantly being built upon. Now, apart from having physical libraries, we also have digital libraries. However, these still need to be cataloged to ensure ease of searching and access. To do this, we assign metadata to documents. What is metadata? It's data about data. From creating folders to tagging photos and blog posts, metadata provides keywords describing the content of a document, which in turn allows for ease and efficiency of search. So that means when Jennifer goes to search for information regarding expenses, and she uses the search term expense, everything tagged with that data will show up, including expense forms, expense policies, and who to contact with questions about expenses. Let's see applying metadata in action. Bob is uploading a PowerPoint he made for a customer presentation to the portal. He wants it to be accessible to all members on his project team, so he can get some feedback before it's presented to the customer. He navigates to the appropriate customer project team site and clicks on the upload button. He is then taken to a page that asks him for some more details. Some sections are required while others are optional. Why is it necessary to do all this? Well, for one, our portal will not let you check in a document lacking in the required metadata, which means no one else will be able to see it and Bob wouldn't be able to get any feedback. Most importantly, filling out the required fields will ensure your document is available across the portal whenever a search is done. Accuracy is also key here. Entering incorrect information will defeat the purpose of metadata. So next time you need to upload a document to the portal, please ensure you provide as much metadata as you can because taking a little time now will ensure your document shows up in searches all across the portal and consequently saves everyone a lot of time.